Hey fam. So today we are going to change our own oil and I'm going to show you guys how to do it and anything I learn along the way. So come with. Starting off, we have our tools. I have my motor oil. I have a nice big pan that I just got at Walmart to catch it. This is a double pan, so I have two. I have a funnel. I have my work gloves. My toolbox out. I'm probably going to need a socket wrench. Maybe one of those crescent wrenches, but I just have everything just in case. And the manual. Over here I've got my yoga mat. <laughs> I'm a small person. I can fit under there if you, uh, if you can't get yourself a skateboard or something. Then I also have a stool because like I said, I'm a small person and that's a tall engine. A couple extra rags. First thing you're gonna wanna do is level your rig. Uh, this is for a couple different reasons. Number one, just to make sure that the oil is draining properly. Number two, if you put the two front wheels just up on some simple blocks, it's gonna give you a little bit more room to get underneath there, unless you're lucky and you have like jacks in a professional garage. So here's what the underside of my hood looks like. I have a 2020 Thor motor coach. That means that it is on the body of a Ford E350. Here's all the information. Something that I didn't know when I got this vehicle, think about a class, so I have a class C. Um, that means that it's a, an RV put onto a truck. So even though the entire rig is a 2020 Thor motor coach, I'm actually on the body of a 2019 Ford. So when you're looking for your specs, um, make sure that you know the year of the actual vehicle that you're the body of your trailer is on because sometimes they could be two different things. I didn't know that. So our oil is right here. Uh, this is going to come off nice and easy. It also tells you the type of oil that you need. So I just went and I bought this. I found out what this means. Um, this first part is the weather. So five weather, that means that this oil is good for down to five degrees. Sometimes this can go all the way to zero, and I think it can go up uh, maybe 10 or 20. I'm not sure, but mine is five. 30 is the thickness. So the smaller the number, the thicker the oil. So we have 10, 20, 30. Um, mine happens to be 30. So just follow whatever is listed on your manual and under the hood it should tell you. The next thing you're gonna wanna know is how much oil you need. For most cars, you need five liters. Um, this is a larger vehicle, so remember you might need more. Thankfully, mine says it right on the inside of the engine. So right here, you're gonna see right on your oil, it says 6.8 liters right there. So I know I need 6.8 liters to fill this up. So once you have everything leveled and you have everything ready, uh, you're gonna wanna actually run your vehicle for five to 10 minutes. Why? Because warmer oil is going to uh, come out faster, basically. You're gonna wanna be careful because the oil is gonna be hot, but you do wanna warm up your vehicle first. While you're waiting, get some sun. Look at the geese. Work on your tan. Spray some bug spray. Whatever you want. So, even though my oil is over there, the engine oil dipstick was over here. So we pulled it out and we're gonna check it. All right, so again, we pulled out our dipstick. Now, this is an RV, so it's really long but at the end you're gonna see it's kind of like etched up it's a little bit like marked up i don't know if you can see that there we go see and it says right on it 
max. So once the engine has been running, we're going to take this out, wipe it off, put it back in in order to check it. And then we pull it out. And yeah, our engine oil was super low. There we go. So that's very, very low. There we go. Oh. Now comes the fun part. We're gonna go under the hood. Well, we're gonna go under the RV. Okay, so I've got my little yoga mat here. Uh, I've got my gloves because I have delicate hands. And I've also got a pair of safety glasses just because if I know myself, I'm gonna get oil in my eye. Uh, I might eat it, you never know. So you're gonna come all the way underneath your RV. You got an RV, it's pretty spacious down here. I've lived in New York City apartments that are bigger than this. So scooch all the way back, okay? I'm gonna show you where your oil pan is. It's gonna be a nice big pan that is now slightly warm, uh, kind of in the center. You can literally follow the tubes underneath and just be smart. You know where you started, you know where you're ending. Look for it, there's gonna be a plug. It's kind of in the middle. So, here's your oil pan. There's your oil plug. You know this because right next to it is your oil filter. It's gonna say oil filter right on it and have a little number. Oil pan, oil filter. So what you need to do is figure out which socket gets this off. They're all gonna be a little different. This will probably tell you the size of the socket that you need. Right on the end. Oh, got it. Okay. And before you start doing any of this, put your pan where it needs to go. Because if you get this right, everything's coming out. This is electrical, like, I, that's not, so that is what I'm trying to do, and you have to, like, so if you think of it, yeah. Oh, oh, you got it! Oh, you got the right thing? Oh, I got it. Yeah. Watch your face. Squirt. No, no. I don't think it was out super heavy. I did warm it up for like five minutes okay. beforehand, so. Good, come out. Oh! There we go! Just kidding, it flows out. We did it! That is black. Yeah, I don't know if this has ever changed. Will you grab me? Oh, hey, camera. Yeah. <laughs> will you grab me? I'm just literally just gonna reach my phone. I'll like, oh, look at me. Will, will you grab me the other pan just in case? Yeah. It's um, it's like right. Yeah. It's six point eight liters, so there's a little bit more than like a normal right. thing. The thing that we are gonna have to do if we go out today. Mm -hmm. Um, so I could not find. I found it later, of course. Hindsight, I found no. it today in the manual. The type of oil filter I needed. Okay. So I didn't buy the oil filter because I was standing there in front of like a hundred oil filters, being like, and I was googling, and I was like, yeah. I'm not finding anything. And normally, like AutoZone should be able to tell you. But maybe well, not with the RV. It's weird because like so I'm making a YouTube video, that's why we're filming. Yeah. Um like the RV is a twenty twenty, mm -hmm. but the Ford is a twenty nineteen. Uh, so Okay. Oil is drained. Blah <laughs> Yeah, that's black. I don't think the oil's ever been changed on this. Okay, so next step is we're gonna put the plug back in. That's potent. Potent. It's stanky. 
Okay. We did that on Sunday for the dog thing anyway. All right, old oil has been drained. Plug has been put back on, plug, bolt, whatever you want to call it. Now we take our new oil and we fill it up. Is it okay if you pour oil all over the place? You look at the color of this, then you look at the color of what came out. Oh yeah. And it's like, oh dear. Yeah, when you put it in, it looks like olive oil. And the stuff coming out is like black. I learned what the numbers mean. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. So you may be asking yourself, all right, uh, I need seven quarts or 6.8 quarts of oil. And I just dumped a whole five in. So how do I know that I have the other two? Ha ha, it's on the side of the can. Yeah, yeah. it tells you. One quart, one liter, two quarts, two liters, three quarts, three liters. I don't know the difference between a quart and a liter, but it goes all the way up to five. Ta -da. All right, so we have put uh, approximately 6.8 liters in. We are going to take the old one out, and then we are going to uh, run the motor to get the oil warm and check the dipstick again. Is it the worst sauce? Okay. So then, oh. <laughs> and then if it drips, it mostly drips on the oven. Oh wait. It's full, by the way. Ta-da! Recycle. So after all of that, we just recycled it right into the um, the can, and it only filled up one of these, which means that um, there was only five quarts of oil in the engine, so it was really low. All right, so your oil is back in. Dipstick has been checked. Let's turn her on. change the oil filter so we're gonna do that a little later it's gonna be part two okay so yes we have changed uh, it is a different day I did not have the oil filter yesterday when I changed my oil so I'm gonna splice these together um, hopefully into one video at the same time that you are changing your oil you should also change your oil filter your oil filter is going to be right next to your oil pan so, we changed the oil, oil pan. Now we change the filter, oil filter. 
it's gonna be right next to it it's listed on the oil filter the type it's also listed in your manual um it's gonna tell you the product uh like the brand that it wants you to use but uh, for instance uh it wanted me to use uh, motorcraft because that's what ford re recommends um walmart didn't have it so uh this is a fram uh filter um there's usually like a book that you can get um that'll tell you the equivalents for each brand so We've got this, okay. Uh, we warmed up our vehicle for about five minutes first. Yes, it's got the new oil in it. I'm not perfect. Uh, we're gonna put the oil, the, the pan, because there is gonna be oil coming out of this. So you are gonna wanna have a pan down here. I've got my safety goggles on just in case. I've got some gloves. I've read that you should be able to do this with your hands. Otherwise you might need a tool. We're gonna find out. I bought a tool. Um, we're gonna use this filter wrench and hopefully this works. All right. Filter, pan, giant wrench. Let's see if this works. <laughs> Do let's see. Ha! It is moving. Okay, we're gonna do this slow. She's in there. There we go. Take a break. There we go. We got method. Okay. All right. It looks like I can probably put it in my hand by now. Yep. We're gonna put this down here. Uh, okay, you guys might be saying, Kara, you are changing your oil. A very messy thing. Why are you wearing white? Because I'm also underneath my RV in a place where I know there's a shit ton of ticks. This way I can see them. Okay, so as you can see, we have taken the oil filter off. We're going to let that drain. Uh, for about 10 to 15 minutes. Just let it get all that stuff out. Uh, just so you guys know, oil is not supposed to be the color of coffee. So while we're down here, I'll show you the new one. Uh, my vehicle uh, recommends a Motorcraft um, oil filter. They didn't have one. So there is a booklet that you can use uh, that shows you the different brands and what kind you uh, you can get. So this is a Fram 
uh, ultra synthetic oil filter. It's an XG2. Looks like this. So we are, uh, we're gonna let this oil drain and then we're gonna pop this puppy back on. All right, so we're down to uh, just a few drips. And the first thing you're going to want to do is to lube up your, uh, your gasket. So that is this part right here. You're just gonna wanna spread a little bit of the oil onto that. This is gonna help seal it together. So first, we're gonna just clean this off a little bit. Yep, not a whole lot of oil coming out. Good. Okay. tighten it first as far as we can and then I'm gonna use my nifty new tool to tighten it further I was saying I like that tight because I'm gonna get off next time and you're done Clean up your area. Uh, these oil filters and the oil can be recycled. Don't forget to run her a little. Get her warmed up. Lubed. 